receives information from the environment. And so the DNA that you were born with is not the DNA you have today, which is why you can have identical twins who come from the same exact sperm and egg, who you look at them at the age of 30 and they're really different. Their, finger, their fingerprints are different. Okay, so DNA changes, changes according to the environment. This is pretty, hopefully it's being taught in medical schools, but I doubt it. So you have the proteins inside the cell of the cytoplasm, which is the cytoplasm, cytoplasm, just a word for the stuff inside cells. Vitamins, which allow the body to make fats and proteins. Minerals, to make fats and proteins work. They're also the on and off switches, and they also help keep your pH in check. Oxygen twice, because it's pretty important. Sunshine, and then voltage. Uh, voltage is what the Chinese refer to as qi. I guess I have to be here so I can... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> if you say that, uh, if you talk about the body as being electric or, or uh, requiring voltage to most physicians, and to most people, they'll think that you're a little bit strange. And yet, if I want to find out if your heart's working Correctly, I'll do an EKG, which is how we measure the electrical activity of the heart. In the ICU, if we want to find out if the person's dead or not, we do an EEG, and we, re and we look at the brain waves. Okay? When, those, when, those, when that electrical activity has stopped, then we can legally say the person's dead. Okay, well, if you just apply those, that same concept to every cell in the body, you'll understand it. Um, Galvanic skin re responses, which they do with lie detector tests. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, the body repairing itself. Just real briefly, so you can get an idea. Rosin cones every 48 hours replace themselves. Skin six weeks, liver about six months, colonocytes, the cells in our colon about three days, and the brain. I don't know. Even heroin addicts don't have drug deficiencies. Okay. Drug defic there are no pharmaceuticals that can substitute for the essential products needed to build a good cell. They can buy time, though. And in our practice, we do use drugs carefully, very low doses. And when we're treating cancer in stage 3 and 4, we use insulin first to open the cell membrane. And then we can give a small amount of chemo so that about 80% of what we give goes directly into the cancer cell and not to the brain and not to the heart and not to the immune system. So the 20% that doesn't go to the cancer cell is 20% of 10% dose. And 20% of 10% is 2%. So the toxicity associated with that kind of therapy is 2% of normal. So we do that basically to chemically debulk really serious cancers you know, because people do have really serious cancer. However, there are actually other ways, and I hope to get to that, there are other ways of um, doing the same thing, accomplishing the same thing. Yes? What happens to that 2%? Well, it, it'll, get, it'll accumulate, so you have, we, we, which we, therefore you have to have a good detoxification program, right? Yeah. Yes, so we do that, you know, through lymphatic massage, rebounding, skin brushing, um, colonics, juicing, you know, all the things that one would do to detox. And as long as you have a good detox, detoxification program, and other things we do, intravenous bicarbonate. Voltage, um, so anyway, voltage, the, the, really voltage means electrical potential. It doesn't really mean, uh, it really, the way you measure the voltage is you measure the resistance of something. Okay, so voltage is resistance, but what we're talking about when we're talking about the energy that heals, the energy, and when we say heal, we mean create new healthy cells. That energy is current, it's electrical current. Okay. Um, every cell is designed to function at about 20 to 25 milli, minus, negative millivolts, minus 20 to 25 millivolts. 
I'll explain what minus means in a moment. But um, so a healthy cell will do that. Teenagers probably 30, even 40 millivolts, negative millivolts. They're bouncing around, you know, in, in spite of the fact that they just ate a pepperoni pizza. They, they're still they're still bouncing around. So imagine if they're eating. Imagine if they're eating right or eating eating naturally. Um, when a cell, okay, so the average cell has got a, a voltage of minus 22 to 25 millivolts. Uh, if you get injured, you hit your finger with a hammer and it gets inflamed, you need to get up to minus 50 millivolts to heal it. Okay. If that, if that inflammation turns into an infection that gets in your bone and you have an osteomyelitis, you have a deep-rooted infection, you need to get up to 70, minus 70 millivolts to heal it. And if you don't, you won't heal. So, um, just a, a, a quick aside that I didn't mention, and the, the reason we're in trouble, all of us, the reason that every 25 seconds, one of us has a heart attack, and every 45 seconds, one of us dies of heart disease, <clears throat> and one out of two and a half of us will get cancer in our lifetime. The reason we're so sick <clears throat> is, uh, look at us, we're sitting in a box, we got here in a machine. When we're outside, we're wearing shoes. We've lost our connection with nature. We're no longer earthlings, we're mutants. We are hybrids. If you put us in the jungle, we would tremble with fear. We wouldn't even know what to do. We don't know how to live. 99% of what we know is irrelevant. All we know is how to exist in this artificial context. This make-believe Thing that so that's why we're so sick. So eating live food is our only connection with nature if you're living in an urban environment, unless you take your shoes off and take a walk in the park. But other than that, if you're not eating live food, now if you even take the food that, you know, that nature made, like tomatoes, and turn it into tomato sauce, you now have lost that. Okay, but I, that was just an aside. Okay, so here you, um, we talked about damaging a cell. A cell can be damaged from trauma. A cell can be damaged from, and that trauma can be in the chemical form of toxins ingested. It doesn't have to be a hammer on the on the thumb. Um, and uh, you know, if anybody, if you want, I'll. I'd be happy to give anybody a copy of the PowerPoint so you, take notes. so you don't have to take notes if you want. Um, okay, so, um, and I'm going to repeat things over and over again uh, because uh, uh, humans and dogs learn by repetition, right? Anyway, um, <clears throat> If, you, if a cell gets damaged and it needs to heal, you need to get to minus 50 millivolts to heal it, okay? And um, if you run out of that energy and it hasn't healed, then it won't heal and it'll, it'll turn, become a chronic condition, okay? Uh, when we get down to a minus 15 millivolts, we're still minus, I forgot to put the minus in there. When you get to a minus 15 millivolts, you're really, really tired. When you get to a minus 10 millivolts, you're sick, and you probably cannot get out of bed. And that's probably most people with chronic fatigue and Lyme's disease, stage four Lyme's disease.